The long-standing issues of land disputes prevalent since colonial times is now festering and could lead to dire consequences in the future. Land disputes and evictions make headlines every other day and incidents are not about to stop. In one of the latest developments, the Attorney General has advised the Ministry of Lands to temporarily suspend customary land conversions to freehold in Acholi subregion over the matter of the roaming herdsmen commonly known as Bararo. This week, in another land dispute in Gomba district, a notorious gang leader, Paddy Serunjoji, known as Sobi, was killed. It is alleged that he was leading a group of around 50 people armed with sticks, machetes and spears to guard the land. And the land in question was still before the courts of law, so we cannot go deep into those issues but we are following up on those issues. Lands Minister Judith Nabakoba has cautioned against involving hired groups or private security forces in land dispute management, emphasizing the role of government security forces in maintaining order until resolutions are reached through proper legal processes. I'm going to re-echo the same message to my colleague, the Minister of Internal Affairs, to at least direct his uh, RPCs and DPCs across the country, that where there are disputes, let those groups not surface. Let police, all security agencies that are known, be the ones to maintain law and order because there are a number of complaints across the country on these groups and also some private security companies. According to the ministry, the matter of land disputes has been escalated by some land brokers and real estate businesses which manipulate innocent people due to their hidden interests. A number of people coming up without any professional ethics. Somebody just wakes up in the night, they think of doing a business, the business which is available is selling land, all building houses for sale and without going through any particular vetting, scrutiny, training. Government wants to regulate land brokers and the real estate business. Saying we need a law to regulate because by regulating the administration will be looked at, the management of the business will be looked at, even the professional conduct. The Lands Ministry has emphasized the need to uphold the presidential directive barring evictions during the festive season. Nobat Atkunda, NTV Tonight.